What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how I color grade my videos in Premiere Pro using Film Convert Nitrate and Lumetri Color. Let's dive into it. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. All right, so here I have a clip shot with the Canon EOS R using the profile C-Log. So you can see it's a very flat image and uh, let's go through the process or my workflow for color grading this. Um, the image was color corrected in camera and if you want to know how to do that let me know in the comment down below so I'll make sure to make a tutorial for you. Otherwise we're gonna switch into the color tab and I'm gonna have, make sure to have my Lumetri scopes available and I'm gonna go in a place which is with fair enough highlights. I think here is fine. I have the light from this opening floating through and that should be fine. So the first thing I want to do is I want to apply a LUT to uh, the, the whole clip. I purchased a LUT package a while ago. I will leave a link in the description down below. Make sure to follow and uh, purchase if you like it. And uh, I have this, my default setting from uh, this package, which is this EOS R C-Log to Rec 709 Alexa Cube. So I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna open it up. And as you can see, the clip is already looking much better. So there's more contrast, the color seems to be fine. Um, there is only one issue, exposure is not perfect, so let's fix that. I'm gonna go in the brightest, again, part of the, the clip and I'm probably gonna bump this one stop. And that should be it. I'm also aware of uh, the Lumetri scopes. Here I'm clipping, which is representing this part of the hair. I don't really mind, I like that part. It's like giving the sense of uh, sun, light and warmth. It might bother me this one, so I might do something in post-production to fix that. But for the rest, the image looks fine. Um, couple of things I wanna fix. Saturation is too much, so I'm gonna probably back off like 85% uh, of saturation. And that looks much better to me. And uh, then one thing I want to do, and I do this in all my footage, I'm going to remove saturation from the shadow areas. That's because saturated colors in shadow areas are just not natural, are not pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to close the basic correction tab, I'm going to dive into the curves, hue saturation curves, and I'm going to look for a very specific one, the Luma saturation. Now, this curve is, uh, is one of the best tools you can have in uh, Premiere Pro. This curve allows you to select a range of luminosity values and for that specific range of luminosity values, allows you to change the saturation. So what I mean by that is, I'm gonna get the picker and I'm gonna pick the luminosity values of one of the darkest area, let's say around the boots here. I'm gonna expand on that just a little bit. And in fact, let me show you what happened if I go here and I go up and down with this part. You can see that this is increasing the illumination in the highlights, uh, the saturation in the highlights. And this is desaturating the image in the highlights. And as I go more toward the highlights, you can see that the mid-tones are getting more saturated. And as I get closer to the mid-tones, they get desaturated. You can look here what's happening. Now, the whole point is that I'm gonna apply the same principle, but in the shadow areas. And so back to the boots. I'm gonna get the picker, pick it there, expand just a little bit the area, and then go all the way down the saturation. Something like that should work. Okay, I am very happy with that. Um, I'm probably wanna do one more thing, which is adding a, say, negative 0.1 vignetting. And that's all I'll do in uh, Lumetri Color. So switching back to the editing, I'm gonna switch in the effects panel and I'm gonna search, we well, already searched for it, but film convert. Now, now here I have two plugins from uh, Film Convert. One is Film Convert Pro, which is the current version and the other one is a beta version for the new Akami release, which has much more features than the previous one, Film Convert Nitrate. I'm gonna pick that one, drop it on the clip, and then in the Effect Controls panel, I'm gonna locate the Film Convert Nitrate section. There you have it. 
I'm gonna play with the film settings and I'm gonna pick my film emulation, which is this Fuji Provia 100. Now, this is giving a very warm look to the film, as you can see. Let me show you a before, after, before, after. And for this shot specifically, I like it. There is the sun shining through and I like this feeling of, you know, warm summer. Now, one thing Film Convert is doing is emulating grain for the specific film I selected. In this case, is the Fuji Film Provia 100. Grain Response is a fantastic tool where you can fine tune to the details the grain emulated in uh, your video. What I'm gonna do here, I'm going to zoom in. First of all, I'm gonna make sure that the video is in full resolution. Then I'm gonna zoom in all the way 400% and I'm gonna select this part. Now you can see how much grain there is and this is because the strength is 100%. I could go different ways. I could increase the size of the grain and you can see what's happening. I'm gonna reset that. I'm gonna increase the softness of the film. Again, this is a film emulation plugin. So this is what it's doing. It's emulating a film in terms of softness, softness, color, grainness, and stuff like that. So I can make um, the film emulation softer. I'm gonna back off that. I can change saturation of the film. What I really wanna do is I wanna change the strength of the grain and uh, right now there is too much grain usually good ballpark for me is between 15 and 35 percent for this one maybe i'll leave it to something like 30 percent now you can see there is still some grain but it's not so much pronounced and that's fine that's how i like it and there you have it this i, I color grade my video footage don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to stay updated with new uploads and thanks for watching, see you next time!